Hi, this is Brian. Welcome back to Philosopher's Notes TV. Today we've got another great book, Wealth Warrior by Steve Chandler. As always, great book, Philosopher's Note, Mind Map. Wealth Warrior. We've got a handful of big ideas we'll cover. And uh, we'll start with Steve Chandler. So Steve is amazing. I first met him two years ago. I interviewed him. I'll share a link to that interview. And I just loved his work. His books are fantastic. I've done notes on four of them. Wealth Warrior, Time Warrior, Fearless, and 100 Ways to Motivate Yourself. And he integrates everyone from Byron Katie to Ken Wilbert and Nathaniel Brandon with a really fun, practical, smart style. Um, and I hired him after our interview, and he's coached me for the last two plus years. So amazing guy. I've gotten a ton out of my work with him. Highly recommend him and his work and his books and his coaching and all of that stuff. SteveChandler.com for more from him. But Wealth Warrior. So how do we create wealth in our lives? How do we circulate abundance so we have the means to give our gifts and greatest service to the world? Well, we need to look at these ideas. Starting with number one. Sorry, out of service. Steve has a great line. He says, look, if you're challenged with wealth, if you're challenged with abundance, the issue is you're out of service, temporarily out of service. Right? Anything you want to use that's out of service, it's just not working. Well, we need to get into a place where we're serving profoundly. It's one of the phrases I've picked up from Steve. To profoundly serve. Wealth creation through profound service. There's no other way to create deep, meaningful wealth than to serve profoundly. And one of the words that he introduced me to that I just love is, um, pen, come here, is astonish. Our first little doodle today. Astonish. That is a lightning bolt. The word astonish comes from the Latin word to strike with lightning, to astonish. A lot of people just look to kind of do the, the smallest amount of work possible or whatever it takes to satisfy. Steve says you've got to astonish. You've got to move way beyond that and have people say, wow, are you kidding me? This is the value you're creating in my life? That's how we create wealth. That's how you become a wealth warrior, to astonish, to strike with lightning. That's the first big idea. The second big idea is to turn our dreams into projects. So Steve talks about the fact that if you work with a coach, he might tell you to take your dream and make it a project. It's really easy to have big ideas about what we want to do, but what we need to do is to boil that down into a very, very specific project. He also jokes about the fact that worrying doesn't help you create wealth. Action does. And uh, I like to joke that it's like you have a project and you spray it on worry dissolves it. If you want to dissolve your worry, pick a project that inspires you. And one of the ways that I like to turn my dreams into projects is through something I call the dominoes. So there's a great video, I'll link to this below, on how to create uh, power through the physics of dominoes. I'm not going to have time to go through it all right now, but I'll create a separate video on this um, where I talk about how I create a strategy, a, pro a strategic orientation to my projects. And the basic idea is that a domino can knock over another domino that's 50% bigger than it. All right? So a domino can knock over another domino that's 50% bigger than it. And there's this video I'll show you where the guy lines up 13 dominoes. And the first domino is so small, it's literally like the size of your pinky. It's dinky. He's got to use little tweezers to put it in place. But that little itsy-bitsy domino can knock over the next domino that's just a little bit bigger than it which can knock over the next domino, which is just 50% bigger than it. If you line up 13 of those dominoes, the 13th domino is three feet tall and 100 pounds. The video I'm gonna show you is a physics professor. He's gotta to work to put that final domino up. So then he lines up that tiny, tiny domino. He knocks it over, boom, 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 boom. You get to the 13th one, two billion times more force is created between the 12th and the 13th domino then was created between the first and the second. It's amazing. And if you line it up for another 13 dominoes, you have something like the Eiffel Tower or the Empire State Building. It's huge. But what we want to do is take our dreams and turn them into projects and focus on the most basic next step we can take. Whatever the most baby step is we can take, see that in a project, go crush it. And if you hit that, you can knock over the next one and the one after that and the one after that. A really powerful way to orient ourselves. So that's uh, the second big idea. I've got to figure out my screensaver over here <laughs> with the countdown.
The third one is comfort zones. So in our video on the tools we did the other day, we talked about comfort zones and how this is our fear and this is our potential. Right? So here's our comfort zone. And what happens is when we're feeling fear, we go out and we're like, oh no, fear. We come back into our comfort zone. And what we need to train ourselves to do is to move beyond our fears. We need to expand our comfort zone. So if we want to become wealth warriors and create wealth, we need to learn how to move beyond our comfort zones. But not so far that you snap. And I mentioned in the note that Steve and I had a great coaching session. I was just pushing myself too far, farther than I, need, than I needed to go. And the point isn't to try to blow out your comfort zone by 100 miles at one point. You just want to consistently push a little bit outside your edge. A little bit outside your edge. A little bit outside your edge. Consistency over intensity is one of the big themes in these videos. But you need to move out of your comfort zone if you want to create a significant amount of wealth. So get in the habit of doing that. That's the third idea here. The fourth one is turning pro. Turning pro. Steve says if you want to create wealth, you need to basically turn pro. You need to go all in. You need to create the habits that will allow you to create consistently and significantly. Um, when I think of this, I think of Stephen Pressfield, who wrote a great book called Turning Pro. He also wrote The War of Art, um, Do the Work, and then uh, Turn Pro is kind of the Turning Pro is the third in that series. And he talks about the difference between an amateur and a pro, professional and an amateur. The word amateur comes from the same root as uh, basically to love something. So an amateur loves something, right? That's where the, uh, the word came from. But what Stephen Pressfield says is he doesn't agree with that. If you really loved something, you wouldn't be an amateur. You wouldn't do it part-time. You'd turn pro. If you really loved something, you'd be all in. So when you're looking at your life and how you're creating wealth or not, think about whether you're being an amateur about something you're passionate about or you're really turning pro. And this is really the theme for me in 2015. I dabbled with being a teacher and being a philosopher, and then I went back into entrepreneurial mode and doing CEO stuff. This is my year of turning pro as a teacher and showing up and being all in. This is what I do. How do I astonish you with, with value, with ways to optimize your life so, reach, so you can reach your potential? For me, that's all about turning pro personally. It's exciting. And the final idea here is to make today a masterpiece. So we've got our dreams that we turned into projects domino style, right? And I like to think of this ideal reality and then current reality. This is a little rubber band that you can stretch. There's dynamic tension there, right? All the great goal setting people tell us about this. Current reality, ideal, we kind of break it down, we create a project, right? We create a bunch of little projects that help us move forward. But then what do you do to reduce that tension between your ideal and your current reality? Well, you take baby steps. And how do you do that? You do that by making today a masterpiece. So how do you make today your masterpiece? This is a John Wooden idea. He didn't focus on winning championships. He was, ESPN said he was the best coach ever, period. He was UCLA Bruin, go Bruins, um, brought him, I don't know how many championships, but it was a lot. And what did he focus on? He didn't focus on winning championships. He focused on making today a masterpiece. So when I start my journaling this morning, I say, how can I make today a masterpiece? How can I make today a masterpiece? I have my big goals. I've got my projects. But how do I make today a masterpiece? For me, that starts by going to bed early so I can wake up early, I can meditate, I can do my yoga, and I can get to work on the most important thing that day. And I've got my list of things, and I'm literally brainstorming, well, how do I make today a masterpiece? So think about that as you look at everything you're doing in your life. How do you make today a masterpiece? And when you find yourself a little off during the day, come back to that. So there you go. Wealth Warrior, Steve Chandler, we talked about you can't be out of service. If you want to create wealth, you need to be astonishing people with profound service. And then you need to turn your dreams into projects. We had fun with our little dominoes thing there. I'll unpack that some more. But figure out the smallest baby step you can take and go hit that. Go rock it. Thank you, Alarm. Um, comfort zones. You've got to move out of your comfort zone. Where was that? Out of your comfort zone.
past your fears so you can reach your potential. But you don't need to go nuts. You just need to move a little bit beyond your current comfort zone and get a little bit better. Consistency over intensity, that's another big idea. We need to turn pro. The amateur loves something. No, the pro really loves something. They're willing to give their lives to it. Um, and then making today a masterpiece. How can you do that more today? There you go. Wealth Warrior, Steve Chandler, I hope you dug it. And um, I look forward to sharing more with you soon. All right, have an awesome day. See you.